Uh, we also have the same uh, process for modeling of cable barriers uh, and they do include also the uh, end terminators. Uh, the cable barriers are included uh, we can be added as a point to the template or geometry as shown before and then the element template uh, needs to point to that particular custom line style. So let's go ahead and see how we do that. Again I'm just going to take advantage of editing the template for this demonstration. We're going to go over here to the median and I'm going to select a point and I'm just going to reassign that point uh, to the point name for the cable barrier and apply that and then you'll see that take place in the 3D model as well as the dynamic cross-section view. And so you'll see that show up and the level of detail that's provided. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.